This video is sponsored by Phoenix, which is formerly known as Minimal Case. Now, this is the same company that's known for their thin, sleek phone cases. Uh, they're just rebranding over to the name Phoenix. And right now, if you go to their site and use the code GAMESKEY, you can save 25%. So let's just say recently you've maybe upgraded to one of the new Galaxy S21 phones, or maybe you've picked up a new OnePlus Pixel or maybe the newest iPhone. You can go to their site and pick up the Phoenix Thin Case, which is going to protect your phone against scratches and light drops while still leaving your phone feeling like it doesn't even have a case on it at all. Now I've actually had these cases on my last several phones and I love the minimalistic design that they have. I just like the fact that it doesn't add any bulk to the phone that I'm using, and so I highly recommend these cases. And again, I'd like to thank Phoenix for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, so today we're gonna take a look at the brand new Lipertech Pure Play Z3, or we could just technically call these the Lipertech Tevis 2.0. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that the original Lipertech Tevis have been one of my favorite budget pair of earbuds. It's one of the first pair that came with a lot of features, uh, had really impressive audio quality and battery life, and kept it all for under $100. So with the Pure Play Z3s, which we're going to check out today, they still come in priced at $99, which is under $100. And they've also added some really nice upgrades. So let's go ahead and start with the buying options because in the originals, they came available in black. They did eventually release them in a pinkish color, but now they're available in white, which I feel has a really nice clean look to it. Uh, now, obviously it does stand out a little bit more than the black pair, but at least you have two different options to choose from. Now the Pure Play Z3s work with Lipertech's app, uh, and although they do have some different pre-built EQ settings in these, um, I'm not a huge fan of those, but I do like the fact that they have a seven band EQ that you can just go in and manually adjust yourself. So if you feel like you want a little bit more bass, you can do that, uh, and it just gives you a little bit better control over the earbuds in general. Now they've also added a new LDX mode. What that seems to be doing is adding a lot more space in the audio, uh, it made everything feel a lot more open without giving it that reverb type effect. And I also feel like it brought the vocalist a little more forward no matter what genre I was listening to. Now, some other things that the app can do is you can locate your earbuds uh, if you happen to misplace them. You can also go through and adjust some of the controls. So if you don't want the double tap feature to do one thing, you can switch it to do something else. And I do want to say that you do have control over everything out of the box. The only thing that you can can't do is switch it into that LDX mode. You have to go in the app to do that. Now, as far as some of the technology itself, uh, these do use Bluetooth 5.2, and they're also now using an upgraded chipset uh, because they're now using the Qualcomm 3040 chip, which is one of those chips that's really good on conserving battery life uh, and giving you a little bit better performance. So I had a much more stable connection with this pair. Uh, I didn't have any kind of dropout or connection issues. And then as far as using these with movies or videos or gaming, uh, the only thing that I noticed lag with is just a slight lag when it came to gaming. So if you are looking for one of those pairs uh, that you can use for all different types of media, this one definitely checks that box. Now, if you are somebody that's looking for a pair to use outdoors, this pair still comes in rated at IPX7, so it is waterproof, uh, which just kind of gives you peace of mind if it starts to rain or if they get splashed on or if you sweat heavily. I mean, even if you drop them in water for just a little bit, uh, they're still going to be okay. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, you can see here that you get the usual small, medium, and large silicone ear tips, but they've also added a pair of FlexFit foam tips. So if you're somebody that just prefers foam ear tips over silicone ear tips, it's nice that it gives you both options right out of the box. Now, as far as the charging cable, it comes with a USB-C cable. And another nice upgrade with this model is it is now Qi wireless charging capable. In fact, Lipertech even decided to design their own wireless charger. Uh, so if you do have the black pair, the fabric material on the case and the wireless charger actually match. Now, the wireless charger that they offer does come in at $30. It does have rapid charge built in. Uh, so $30, I think, is pretty pricey for a wireless charger. Uh, but if you're one of those people that likes for your accessories to match what device you're using, it is nice that you have this option available. 
So now moving over to looking at the actual case itself, uh, you can see that the fabric on both of these do have a slightly different look. Um, I've always liked the fabric material. It's kind of matched Sennheiser's earbuds. It gives it more of a premium look. Now I have not been a fan of the little leather strap that's attached to these, uh, but luckily it's easy to just kind of untie these and pull it out if you don't want it attached to your earbuds. Now on the back, you can see the USB-C input for charging. And then around on the front, they do have the four indicator lights. That way you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now moving over to looking at the actual earbuds themselves. Um, again, this is the white pair, so you can see that even the inside of the case is white. Uh, both the black and the white pair are trimmed in that little chrome ring. Uh, now these do have button controls. Um, and again, I am happy to say that you can control everything. And another huge plus about the button control is it is very easy to push. Uh, it's not one of those that's going to feel like you're jamming them into your ear. Now, as far as you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then as far as the microphones on here, um, it didn't actually say that they improved the quality on these, but I felt like I could notice a pretty nice difference between the originals and the new ones. I felt like it picked up my voice a little bit better. And I also noticed that it did a really good job of blocking out my surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the Z3s. Again, I think overall it seems to pick up my voice a little bit better. I noticed that it was a little bit cleaner sounding, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. So this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because the sound, in my opinion, has always been the huge standout feature with the original Tevis. And luckily, they didn't do anything to change this, especially just out of the box. Um, but like I said, you do have the ability to tweak these if you'd like. Out of the box, you're probably going to feel like it's lacking on bass, uh, because overall, it is a fairly flat sound signature when it comes to the low end, uh, but it definitely bumps up um, a lot more when it leans more towards the treble, because this is a bright sounding earbud which basically means you can hear details clearer um, I really this is a pair that you will have no issue being able to separate instruments but also be able to tell what direction they're coming from and again switching it over into that LDX mode that they now have also makes these feel a lot more open I still felt like going through personally and just adjusting the EQ uh, kind of got me the sound signature that I wanted for listening to different music um, I felt like I was able to pump up the bass just enough to feel that kick. Uh, these are not going to give you a subwoofer type feel no matter how high you push the bass. Uh, so again, if you do want that, I can't recommend them for that. But for everything else, this again is one of the best sounding earbuds on the market. Uh, it's clean, it's detailed, it's now spacious if you want it to be. Uh, the bass is nice and tight. It's not loose, it's not sloppy. It, doesn't get muddy or congested. So Libertech has just taken what was already working very good in the original Tevis and just now gave you some more modern features and some improvements on being able to control your audio a little bit more. So it just added to the value of these. I do still wish that I could switch into LDX mode from the earbuds themselves. And I also wish that these responded to EQ adjustments a little bit better. It just felt like no matter how much bass I wanted to push out of these. Uh, it feels like it's limited and I don't know if that's to keep these from distorting or just keep the bass from just ruining everything else. So overall, it's still fantastic. It's still a pair that I highly recommend. But that's my video on the brand new Lipertech Pure Play Z3s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.